We can learn a lot about zeal by watching children because they throw themselves into everything they do with enthusiasm and energy. If it doesn't excite them, they just don't pay attention to it. But they run to the swings, they throw themselves into a game, they laugh unselfconsciously at a video. Everything they do is at 100% and 100% fun if they can find it. Now, if you aren't feeling that kind of zeal in your life, stay with me through this video and I want to give you a couple of ideas about how you can bring it in and feel that kind of childlike enthusiasm once again. I'm Mark Rothman, Progress Coach. I help you move forward continuously, making continual forward progress so that you can achieve and enjoy the life you both desire and deserve. Now, a lot of things compromise our zeal as we grow up. We start off with that childhood energy, but certainly as we hit adolescence, we become very worried about the group around us. What do people think? Am I dressed okay? Did what I just say make me look like an idiot? We become very aware and we, of, of the world around us and people's opinions of us in particular. Children are really free of that opinion. They'll tell you what they think. And that's an important part of socialization. We need to learn how to live in society. It's also painful and many of us squash ourselves, squelch ourselves, and I think our zeal becomes a victim of that. Now, as we get a little more self-confident, as we grow older and more mature over time, we can start living for ourselves again, our, our Friends' opinions become less important. And, and this is, I'm talking about kind of over a, a long-term period, over years and over decades. And we can start focusing again on living the life that's really right for us and not necessarily caring as much about what our friends are going to think. And yet for many of us, our zeal may not come back. Or we may have had it, but we may be finding ourselves in a situation that is squelching us nonetheless. It may be a job. It may be a relationship. We may have committed ourselves to a physical fitness goal and all of a sudden it becomes kind of like a, a routine, like eating your vegetables. Well, when we're feeling that, we've got to ask ourselves some hard questions, I think. We've got to look at ourselves and say, where am I not finding the energy and enthusiasm? Am I starting to just play the victim? People stuck in dead-end jobs or stuck in work situations where they've been there for years and they feel like they'll never be a, a solution or a way out. Maybe actually choosing to play the victim and we've got to ask ourselves, am I not doing the work to find my enthusiasm? What would make me have that zeal, that energy and enthusiasm? And it may mean that we have to take some hard decisions about ourselves. We may have to look at ourselves in the mirror and say, if I'm going to find my enthusiasm, I'm not going to find it here. Or we may have to look at ourselves and say, in what ways am I manufacturing my own stuckness? Am I staying trapped? Now, this can be a very hard thing to do alone, which is one of the reasons I really enjoy working with people like you to help you find a way out, to find your zeal again, to find your enthusiasm. What's your inner purpose, your core mission that will feed your energy and so you can return to that zeal? Now, we can think of people who have zeal. They're, it's like they're on a campaign. It's like they're a force of nature. They're on a mission to accomplish whatever their goal is. And we find that enthusiasm infectious. And we can find that in ourselves as well. It can happen with a partner. It can happen with self-reflection. And it can certainly happen with a coach. So that's a great way to reach out of yourself, to find out what's getting in your way. How are we slowing ourselves down by working with or talking to someone else? And the other way is just think about what are the childlike things that we do still enjoy? And can we start borrowing those from other areas and bring them into our lives in a place where we're not feeling it? The answers can be painful. It can force us to have to make difficult changes. But if we really want to move forward in our lives, it's the question and conversation we need to have ourselves. We all deserve to live with zeal. And even more, we all have a gift to give to the world that when we're living in zeal, we're actually distributing 
effortlessly around us. That's why the energy of people who seem like they're on a mission or are a force of nature can be so infectious because they're living their best life and they're giving us permission to live the way we can live as well, the best way we can live. And we can do that for ourselves. And when we do, we can do it for everybody else. So I'd be happy to talk to you about finding your zeal. Send me a comment. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Hit like and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like this, check out some of my other videos. Follow me on Instagram at Mark Progress Coach, Facebook, Mark Rothman Progress Coach, and leave your comments. And please don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.